Do you nice and hot? Thank you, Mom. Peter, you got me walking a plank in the <laughs> K.O. Crypton. <laughs> so sick. Oh, Bob, we just got to send for Cousin Bob to come and help out, or you're going to get sick, too. I phoned her, but your father sent her a telegram and told her not to come. He won't have her around. <laughs> you want to tell him something? Why don't you tell him what your cousin Maud, that gorgeous cousin Maud of yours, said to me on that occasion? Well, she said, oh, Archie, you really want me to repeat it? Exactly. Let the two of them know. Believe no, what a no-class person she really is. Well, she said that she hadn't seen nothing so disgusting since her kid brother heaved up his whole dinner at his confirmation. Yeah. Hear that? Nice, huh? <laughs> I pull out the funniest stunt in the whole history of Puritan Made Ice Cream Parlor, and Maud comes up with a revolting story about confirmation. I hate that thing. Well, she ain't too crazy about you, neither. Uh, I got a one on one point, too. That ain't hypochondriac. What do I got to do, guys? Oh, your doorbell is ringing. Bring the toys. He's making me sick. Oh, you got the doorbell. I want to do. That's it. I'm getting hotter. I'm getting worse. Shut up, all of you. Shh. There's a person at the door. Mort! Edith! Wait a minute. Didn't you get my telegram telling you to stay the hell away from here? Of course I got your telegram telling me to stay the hell away from here. Edith, honey, ma'am, you can rest easy now. Marty is here. Okay, everybody, rise and shine. Time to get up. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Well, come on, everybody. My Gloria, everybody, we're gonna have breakfast downstairs. The exercise will do you good. Good morning, good morning. Slept the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Are you waiting for a special invitation? I said breakfast is on the table. I heard you. So did every moose up in Canada. Hey, hey, hey. You're in my chair, Maud. So? I want to sit in my chair. Oh? You're going to get out of my chair? No. If you don't get out of that chair, you know, I got a way to make you very, very upset. Archie, please. Stay out of this now, Edith. Come on, Mort, last chance. You're going to get out of there? Get lost. <laughs> oh. Well, I got the secret weapon that can lay this little lady right away. Here we go. This country was ruined by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. <laughs> You're fat. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting. We'll be so busy. There's the bridal shower tonight, and then tomorrow is the bridal supper, and of course, Saturday is the big day. Wrong, Edith. Sunday's the big day. That's the day we take the bus home. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. If your cousin Maud says one wrong way to me, we're gonna be leaving before the bride takes the shower. <laughs> Cousin Maude will be in a good mood. She'll probably welcome you with open arms. I don't care what she's got open, as long as she's got a big mouth closed. <laughs> Get everything here. Come right, on. Goodbye, Eddie. Oh, yeah. See you later, Archie. Bye, Ma. Have a good time. Oh, we will. Maud was thrilled when I told her we was coming. Look, I don't want Archie Bunker here any more than you do. 
I invited Edith because I love her. And everywhere Edith goes, Archie goes. You know, like that vaudeville act. There's the front end of the horse, and then there's Archie. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you straight so there won't be any trouble. Carol is marrying a boy of the Jewish faith. Good night, no, she's marrying a Jew. What did I tell you? What are you going to do, Maud? You going to let me in there? Or you going to give me a break and leave me go home in peace? Come on in. Ladies, ladies, I have something to show you. <laughs> is a Mr. Bunker. <laughs> and he insists on staying with us girls for the shower. You ain't need to get out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm going. You got your way. Stay here, enjoy yourself, you don't be friends. I'll go back to the motel and stay there all along. Don't oh, worry, Edith. He can go back and watch television. Governor Wallace is on the Tonight Show, and he'll love it. Come on, Edith. We got a long trip. Let's get going. Bye, bye. Keep smiling there, Morty. Archie, here. You don't want to forget your wedding present. Oh, uh, no, uh, i tell you what you do, Maud. Uh, you keep it here on what you call deposit for the next week. <laughs> Carol, I want to ask you something. Do you love me? What kind of a question is that? It's a hell of a question. That's what kind of question it is. <laughs> Well, of course I love you. You're my mother. No, I didn't ask you if you love me because I'm your mother. I asked you if you love me. Well, how can I separate the two? You are my mother. Yeah, but what if I weren't? Mother, you're impossible. Carol, you have exactly 10 seconds to answer. How can I answer that Five, question? There's no possible way four, I can... All right. I love you. I would love you no matter who you were. I love you. But does that make you happy? Very happy. Now, can we change the subject? <sighs> Certainly. Let's talk about you. <laughs> what are the things you love about me? 